God says, the high and the lofty one that inhabits eternity, whose name is holy, I dwell in a high and holy place. With him also, that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Brethren, we have come together in the family of God, in our Father's presence, to offer him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive his holy word, to bring peace before him, our needs of the world, to ask his forgiveness of our sins, and to sin, seek his grace, and through his Son Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. Let us in silence examine ourselves before the Almighty God. Let us humbly confess our sins. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbors in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate thought, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in the next of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Mighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and send you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Psalm 107. Psalm 107. The first nine verses shall be read in an alternate order. O oh, thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his loving mercy is forever. And gather in from every land, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. They were hungry and thirsty, and their hearts fainted within them. He led them by the right path till they came to an inhabited city. Together, for he sat the thirsty and face the hungry with good things. written in Proverbs chapter 25, beginning at verse 6. Proverbs chapter 25, reading comments from verse 6. Put not for thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in the place of great men. For better it is that he be said unto thee, Come up 
eager that that thou shouldest be put Lord in the presence of the prince whom thy eyes have seen. Go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do in the end thereof when thy neighbor hath put thee to shame. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover no secret to another. Lest he that heareth it put thee to shame, and that infamy turn not away. The well pity spoken is like a price of gold in pictures of silver, as an earning of gold, and an ornament of fine gold. So he is a wise reprover upon an obedient end. As the cone does bloom in the time of harvest, so is a faithful messenger to them that sent him, for he refreshes the soul of his masters. Who so boasted himself of the first gifts is like clouds and wind without rain. By long forbearing he is a prince persuaded, and a loved tongue breaketh the bone. As thou found honey, is so much as is sufficient for thee, lest thou be filled therewith and vomit it. Draw thy food from thy neighbor's house, lest he be weary of thee, and so hate thee. The man that beareth false witness against his neighbor is a maw, and a sword, and a sharp arrow. Confidence in an unfaithful man in time of trouble is like a broken tooth and a foot out of joint. As he that taketh away a garment in cold weather, and a singer upon nighter, so is he that singeth songs to an heavy heart. If thy enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat, and if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. This is the word of God. The second lesson is taken from the book of James, chapter 2. James, chapter 2. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a good dream, in goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment. And ye have respect to him that weareth the gay clothing, and said unto him, Sit thou here in a good place, and say to the poor, Stand thou there, or sit here under my footstool. Are ye not them partial in yourself, and have become judges of evil thoughts? Haki, my beloved brethren, hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not, do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. Do not they blaspheme that worthy name 
by which ye are called, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scriptures, thou shalt love thy neighbor as yourself, ye do well. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin, and are convinced of the law of transgressors. For whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. For he that said, do not commit adultery, also said, do not kill. Now if thou commit no adultery, yet if thou kill, thou hast become a transgressor of the law. So speak ye, and so do, as they that shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that has showed no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. This is the word of the Lord. My Lord, I sincerely want to appreciate this real privilege given to me for the invitation extended to me. I didn't take it for granted. May the Lord continue to water your life and your ministry in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, our Father and our God, we thank you for the opportunity of coming to your presence. Open our eyes to your word and illuminate our hearts to behold the wondrous things in your world through Christ our Lord. The T, the general team for today's Sunday from our lectionary is the Christian duty to the poor. But I want to have a sub T under this T which I try to give it hope for today, tomorrow, and eternity. The text is taken from the second reading, James chapter 2, verses 5 to 6a. Asking my beloved brethren, 
Had not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he had promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. When you study the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, you will know the mind of God towards the poor and the needy. You will understand the important responsibility God has given to us. Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 11 says, For the poor will never cease from the land. Therefore I command you, say, you shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor, and your needy in your land. Isaiah 58 verse 7 says, from the previous verse, verse 6, God is saying, if this not the fast that I have chosen, is not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out. When you see the naked, that you cover him, and not hide yourself from your own flesh. From the manifesto of Jesus Christ in Luke chapter 4 verse 18, Jesus declared that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Whenever we care for the poor and the needy, we are sharing in the anointing that was upon Jesus and we are fulfilling the purpose of God for the poor. From the tea that we are considering, giving hope for today, tomorrow and eternity. Our ministry to the poor should be holistic ministry. Hope for today. Another says, a hungry belly have no ears. A hungry person is an angry man. If a hungry person does not have food to eat, he may not listen to you. You must provide food or immediate need of a poor man before he can listen to you. What this team is saying is that you must not stop at that. Giving hope for tomorrow must follow. You only give in food to satisfy his hunger. What will be his hope for tomorrow? The poor man may turn himself a parasite to your life. He may keep coming to you on a on daily basis. Help a poor man to get something doing in order to alleviate his poverty. That is the hope for tomorrow. Get him a job. Engage him. Let him do something that will trans transform his life. This will automatically help you to know those who are genuinely poor. Because some people are poor just because they are lazy. They are poor because of their recklessness life, slothfulness and irresponsible life. The last one is giving hope of eternity. Jesus said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. There is a case, an issue that was trending on social media just of recent about this pastor, uh, Pastor Agbala Gabriel, and one man called Muyide. I was following the, the, the case on social media. When the pastor met this man, he met him wretched, poor. He took him home. He transformed his life. He did not stop at that. He married for him. He, get, he got him a wife. He built a house for him. And finally, he opened a shop and he cooked the shop for the man. But later, he discovered that the whole thing turned around. And the man left the man and was blackmailing the man of God all over the places. What I discovered from that life, from that man, was that he has not been regenerated. Christ was lost from his life. I think that was the only mistake that the man of God made. He didn't introduce Christ to him. He didn't accept Christ. And I pray the Lord will redeem the image 
of that man of God because he had a good intention. If you give the hope to the poor, if you give the hope of to today to today tomorrow to the poor and miss the last one, which is the hope of eternity, it's like labor in vain. I pray we shall not labor in vain in Jesus' name. You may not receive the reward that God has promised to those that care for the poor. If you fail to give him the hope of eternity, Jesus met the physical and spiritual needs of the poor. After you have given a poor man hope of today and hope of tomorrow, pray for him, cancel him, educate him, and introduce him to Christ. It will be difficult to gain the heart of a such person for Christ. Let him know that Jesus had made himself poor so that we can be rich. 2 Corinthians 8 9. Finally, brethren, God has called every one of us to this ministry to minister to the poor. When you give directly to the poor or you minister to their needs, you are bringing the gospel to them. You are sowing into the good soil and you will reap it in abundance. Psalm 41 verse 1 says, Blessed is he who consider the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Ministry to the poor is one of the God's strategies for your prosperity. Until you are concerned about the needs of the needy, your doors may not be open. When you read to Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8 to 10, there are numerous blessings for those who minister to the poor in that passage. Children of God, let us arise and be involved. Minister to someone today. Give them the hope of today, hope of tomorrow, and hope of eternity. You will greatly be rewarded. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for your word that you have sent to us. Let your word transform us. I pray, as we have had your word today, the grace to do according to your word, so that we will not be a hearer alone, release upon every one of us, and at the end, we will not be cast out in your heavenly kingdom. Thank you, King of Glory. For in Jesus' name we are praying.
Jesus, the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and heart, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come here to join the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us, the Lord's prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on heart as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. O Lord, guide and defend our rulers and do your ministers with righteousness. O Lord, save your people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean our hearts within us. The college for 15th Sunday after Trinity, another college. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have taught us through your Son that love is the fulfilling of the law. Grant that we may love you with our whole heart and our neighbors as ourselves. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands thy eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servant, in all our sort of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the minds of Jesus Christ our Lord. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance, to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the continuations of our prayers, we shall pray for the church universal, our country, Nigeria, and other prayers. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we praise you for the blessing brought to humankind through the earth church. We bless you for the grace of the sacraments, for our fellowship in Christ with you and one another, for the teaching of the scriptures and for the preaching of your word. We thank you for this holy example of your saints, for your faithful servant departed this life and the memory and example of all that is true and good in their lives. Number us with them in the company of the redeemed in heaven. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. O oh God, by your grace, you have called us in this diocese to a godly fellowship of faith. Bless our primate, Henry, our Archbishop, Olushino, 
our bishop, Babatunde, and all our clergy and all our people. Grant that your word may be truly preached and truly heard, your sacrament faithfully administered and faithfully received, by your spirit fashion our lives according to the example of your son, and grant that we may show the power of your love to all among whom we live, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Lord, we appreciate your faithfulness and your kindness at all time as our referred Father. We ask you to inspire the people of this land, most especially this country, with the spirit of justice, truth and love, so that in all our dealings under the leadership of Bola, our president, and our, our governor, with one another we may show that, that together we are one in you. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Look with pity, Heavenly Father, on those who are threatened by hunger, injustice, terror, or death. Help us to banish cruelty from our means. Strengthen those who seek equality for all, and grant that every one of us may receive a due share in the riches of this land. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Beloved, I want us to present our personal petitions to the Lord with assurance that God will hear us. And as we are presenting our petitions to the Lord, let's also pray that the Lord will give us the heart to care for the poor. He will teach us and give us the ability. Some people may like to help the poor, but due to poverty, due to inability, Let's pray that the Lord will strengthen us. Let's add to our prayer with Psalm 86, verse 17. Psalm 86, verse 17 says, Show me some token of your goodness, that those who hate me may see it and be ashamed, because you, Lord, are my helper and my comforter. Can you pray that the Lord will do something great in your life, will manifest himself as we journey through this week, Pray that the Lord will give you a token of his goodness. You will experience the goodness of God this week. In all areas of your life, that the Lord will confirm himself as your comforter and your helper. He will help your wife. He will help your husband. He will help your children. He will help you in your chosen career. He will show you that he is your God. Let's bring that prayer to a close. Lord, in your mercy, Almighty God, you have given us grace to bring before you with one accord our common supplications. And you promise that when two or three are gathered together in your name, you will grant their request. Fulfill now, O oh Lord, the desires and petitions of your servants, as made the most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of your truths, and in the world to come, the fullness of eternal life. As one family, let's say the prayer of grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. To serve the Lord. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. As we go out this week, 
Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, let there be pardon. Where there is discord, let there be union. Where there is doubt, please give us faith. Where there is darkness, lighten our darkness. Where there is despair, give us hope. Where there is sadness, please extend your joy. For your mercy and for your truth, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all the benefits you have won for us. For all the pains and insults you have borne for us. Most merciful Redeemer, our friend and our brother, as we go this week, may you know you more clearly, follow you more nearly. Day by day, may we walk with you. And as we go this week, may we be help to those who are helpless. May we be of assistance to those who are needy and help us to care for the less privileged. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Brethren, I pray for you this week. The Lord will satisfy your task. The Lord will fill your hunger with good things. And as you cry to the Lord in your distress this week, the Lord will deliver you. End of this week, the hand of the Lord will be upon you for good. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no man evil for evil. Standing the faint hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor all men. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit. And may the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Take the memory first. First John chapter 4, verse 20. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? By love, by love. And by love, may the blessings of the Lord be upon you. Have a wonderful week.